National Security Advisor Ajit Doval today said that India has been a melting pot of cultures and religions that have coexisted in harmony for centuries. And Islam occupies a unique and significant position of pride amongst the religious group in the country. Well, Doval's remark came during an event at the India Islamic Cultural Centre in New Delhi, where Muslim World League Secretary General Dr. Muhammad bin Abdul Karim Al Isa was present. In fact, both Doval and Dr. Muhammad bin Abdul Karim Al Isa addressed the gathering at the event. A prominent religious leader, Islamic scholar and reformist from Saudi Arabia, Dr. Al Isa arrived on a five-day visit to India yesterday on the invitation of Khusro Foundation. While addressing the gathering, Dr. Al Isa highlighted that both Saudi Arabia and India intend to reach out to the different components and diversity with a common objective that both countries share. Well, he further said that Indian wisdom has contributed a lot to humanity and that both nations has a common objective of coexisting peacefully together. Well, the former Saudi Arabia Minister for Justice, who is considered a leading global voice on moderate Islam, added that India with its diversity is a great model for coexistence. Significantly, he added that Muslims in India are proud of their constitution and nation. ولكننا عندما نتحدث عن الحكمة الهندية نتحدث عن الدستور الهندي نتحدث عن مقومات عن دعائم مهمة جدا لصناعة وإبقاء هذا التعايش ماثلا على الواقع yes. Of course, uh, we reach out with the different components of, and diversity for the common objectives that we share uh, we have heard a lot about the Indian wisdom, and we know that uh, the, this uh, Indian wisdom has contributed a lot to humanity. We know that we have a common objective of coexisting peacefully together. We know that here coexistence is very important, but we know that around the world it's very important that we also work on uh, uh, promoting stability and harmony all over the world. We know that the Indian components, with all its diversity, is a great model for coexistence, not only in just mere words, but also on the ground. And we appreciate all the efforts and steps taken in this regard. We, but we also aware of the fact that around the world, we see that there is um, negative trends in coexistence around the world. And here, we have to take benefit from the common values that we share together and work further on strengthening them. NSC Doval in his address said that the message by Dr. Al Isa is loud and clear, adding that it was essential for countries to live in peace in order to protect humanity. Well, he also expressed his gratitude towards the Muslim World League Secretary General for his deep understanding of Islam, the religions of the world, and incessant efforts towards interfaith harmony. Well, he said that Dr. Al Isa's courage to persistently lead on the path of reforms has not only contributed to a better understanding of Islam, but also prevented extremist and radical ideologies to plague minds. Well, Doval added that India believes in promoting tolerance, dialogue and cooperation to deal with the challenges of the times. Well, he added that it is no coincidence that despite having around 200 million Muslims, the involvement of Indian citizens in global terrorism has been incredibly low. Excellency, your deep understanding of Islam and religions of the world, incessant efforts towards interfaith harmony, courage to persistently lead on the path of reforms, is not only contributing to better understanding of Islam and its seminal contribution to humanity. Excellency, India, the world's largest democracy and the mother of democracies, is a land of incredible diversity, with India being home to the second and largest Muslim population in the world.
In fact, to give an idea of the scale we are talking about, Indian Muslim population is almost equal to the combined population of over 33 member states of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The Holy Quran emphasizes the importance of unity and understanding among people from diverse backgrounds. The edifice of modern India is built on the principle of equal rights, equal opportunities and equal responsibilities for all its citizens. The equality is guaranteed by our constitution and law. This is also a part of our thinking and this thing. We will all strive and we should try to bring about that convergence where there is an equality in all respects amongst all of us. India continues to play its role as a refuge for heterodox ideas with infinite capacity to absorb dissent. Dissent does not mean disintegration. Dissent does not mean necessarily a confrontation. Doval also highlighted India's fight against terror and said that terror has no religion. There is fight having around, having around 200 million Muslims, the involvement of Indian citizens in the global terrorism has been incredibly low. Yet the challenge of extremism and global terrorism compels us not to lower our guards, to preserve the security and stability between our borders and also rise to the security challenges beyond. India has been leading the fight, the fight against individuals and organizations who are promoting extremism, narcotics and terrorism. I vividly recall the terrorist attack on the Grand Mosque in Moscow and Mecca in 1979 and how that incident became a turning point in the way Saudi Arabia looked at itself and the rest of the world. The attack was carried out by a handful of militants who seized the Holy Mosque and held the courts hostages for several days. The attack brought the issue of terrorism to the forefront and forced Saudi Arabia to reevaluate its security measures and foreign policy. India has also been a victim of terrorism for many decades. The country has faced numerous terrorist attacks, including the 2008 Mumbai attacks, which claimed 168 lives. India has actively been working to combat terrorism through various means, including strengthening its security apparatus, enacting new laws, and cooperating with other countries to prevent terrorist activities. However, in this war against terror, even in the face of great provocation, India has steadfastly upheld the rule of law, rights of its citizens, and protection of human values and human rights. India is an extremely responsible power, but when the need for a hot pursuit against terrorist heavens it was, was felt, we have gone all out to destroy terrorism in our national interest. Notably, before being appointed Secretary General of the Muslim World League in 2016, Dr. Al-Issa served as the Minister of Justice in Saudi Cabinet. As a powerful Saudi Minister for Justice, Dr. Al-Issa oversaw key reforms in several areas, including legislative reforms in family matters, humanitarian crisis and for the rights of women.